Girls of Great Britain and Ireland Tiara. The girls of Great Britain and Ireland were a committee of women who raised money for the tiara, which was a wedding gift to Queen Mary. The large diamonds around the top were originally pearls, but Queen Mary later decided to have the pearls placed in the La Forge Nord tiara. La Forge Not Tiara Commissioned by Queen Mary, the delicate piece is made up of brilliant and rose cut diamonds with 19 pearls and was made by Garat in 1913. It was worn by the Queen to the premier of Conquest of Everest in 1958 and was a wedding gift to Princess Diana who wore it many times. Delhi Durbar Necklace The Delhi Durbar was a commemoration in India to mark the accessions of King George V and call for a little something special for his Queen's consort Mary. The necklace is set with 8 Cabochon Emeralds, 3 Cassian Ship, 4 Oval and 1 Luzon Ship. Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee Necklace The impressive piece was gifted to Victoria by a committee of ladies called the Women's Jubilee Overing. The diamonds and pearl centerpiece and six falls on either side could be used spiritually as brooches and pins. Bring Tiara. The tiara is set with brilliant and rose cut diamonds and was made by Royal Javaras Karat. The style is Russian and was very popular with the royal family in the first half of the 20th century. The queen borrowed it from her mother for her wedding day.
just fourth stadium. A sin on stamps, coins, and banknotes. This crown was made in 1820 and was worn by George Ford on the way to his coronation. The diamond encrusted roses, thistles, and some rocks represent England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, and there are a total of 1,333 diamonds incorporated in the piece, along with pearls and a pale yellow diamond at the centers of the front cross. First two necklaces. Four day to day life, the queen prefers three strands of pearls. But for special occasions such as a state opening of parliament or official visits, she prefers. The three strands of diamonds her father gave her in 1950, when she was a 24-year-old princess. Grefeel Chandelier Earrings Upon her passing, society heroes Dame Margaret Grefeel left her entire collection of fame jewels to her friend the Queen Mother and many of the pieces have become favorites of the queen. When Cartier made the earrings in 1929, the purpose seems to have been to combine as many different cuts of diamond as possible, featuring half-moon trapeze, square, bucket, pattern, and emerald cut stones. Thank you.